Welcome to Riso's Back to School video. Today we're going to talk about the RZ220, its basic operation, how to change supplies, some of the areas in the machine that you would be, want to be familiar with, some of the advanced features of the machine, and also how to change color cylinders. To begin the basic operation of the machine, I would take my original and either put it in the automatic document feeder or on the glass platen. As you'll see, my original has a little bit of white space at the top or area where there's no image. That's very critical in the operation of the machine. Select my copy count and press the start button. Next we're going to talk about how to load your consumable supplies. The first consumable supply is obviously paper. Our machine will hold 1,000 sheets of 20 pound bond paper. To load the paper, simply insert the paper into the machine and tighten up your guides. Once the paper is loaded in the machines, the other consumable supplies you might want to be concerned about are your ink and mass material. To access those, simply open the door, and right in front of you will be the ink tube. A slight turn to the left will exit your ink tube. As you can see, this is a Riso ink tube. It's 1,000 cc's and should last you about 20,000 copies. To insert the ink tube, you align the arrow with the line on the cylinder, insert it fully, and a quick turn to the right. While we're behind the front door, I also want to show you the master loading area. To access the loading area, simply press the green button. When it illuminates, you'll be able to pull the master loading unit fully out. And this is where you will access your master material. To reload the master, simply take the master roll, insert it into the machine, take the front edge, load it under the green strip, close the unit, and reinsert back into the machine. Now you can close the front door. Next, I'd like to talk about the master disposal box. The master disposal box is located on this side of the machine. We take a trash barrel. By squeezing the handle, remove the master disposal box, shake it into your trash barrel, and reinsert the master disposal box into the machine. While we're on the topic of supplies, I would like to draw your attention to the operator panel. There are two LED lights, one for the master roll and one for the ink tube. When these lights are not illuminated, that means your supplies are fine and you have plenty of consumables within the machine. When either of them begin to flash, it indicates that your supplies are becoming low and it's time to consider reordering supplies. You do not need to replace your supplies at this time. However, when the lights go solid, you will need to replace either the ink or the master as indicated by the LED light. If the LED light is solid, the machine will not operate until you have replaced those supplies. I'd now like to demonstrate how easy it is to do a color change. Simply open the door, press the button on the left, remove the color cylinder, grab your next color, insert it into the guides, and simply insert it into the machine. I've just completed a color cylinder change in about 20 seconds. Although paper jams on the Riso RC220 are very, very seldom, if a jam does happen, 95% of the time they are on the ex paper entry or paper exit side of the machine. Simply check the entry and exit sides of the machine and press the reset button. If the jam does not clear, it's possible that the jam or the paper could be sitting underneath the cylinder. To clear that jam, you simply open the door, press the button, remove the print cylinder, reach in, remove any paper, close the door. I'd now like to talk about some of the advanced features of the Riso RC220. The first advanced feature is the line photo in duo mode. The line mode, which is the default for the Riso RC220, allows you to copy text. The photo mode is for when you want to copy photos, and the duo mode is when your original has both cop uh, photo and line on the page. In addition, we have the book mode. If you were to have a book, you can simply place it on the glass, select the book mode, and it will eliminate that spine from your copy. 
The Riso also has a two up feature that allows you to either from the automatic document feeder or from the glass, take either two different originals or two of the same original, scan them in, the Riso will reduce them and rotate them and put them side by side on the same sheet of paper. In addition, Riso also has an ink saving mode, which when enabled allows your school to use less ink on the paper.